stays in guard. You know, he pops up to something. I'll pull him down real quick. And as I pull him down, well, as he's coming up, I'm going to open up my guard and pop up. Come up to an elbow. And come up here and pitch him in. Now, from here, I could go for a couple things. I could go for the Kimura. I could go for there's a sweep from here. But uh, we're going to go over guillotines today. So I got pinched in. I'm going to swoop along his back. A lot of guys go like this. They come up and go for the guillotine right away. Don't do that. So uh, just pitch him in like this. And from here, all the technique branches off. So I'm going to come along. Now, say he's looking up, looking up towards the ceiling. If I come along like that, push him right down. See? I'm right underneath. As far as you can. Push your hand all the way through. You're going to. Grab your hand, and as you're falling backwards, lock it up. You can close your guard, or you can push off the hip and get this. Now, real quick, when you're going for that, and you come all the way underneath, bring your arm all the way through as far as you can. When you get through, you're gonna you're gonna bend your wrist like this and grab onto that like a handle. Don't go like this. You know, don't palm the palm. You're gonna ball up your fist, turn it, and grab that handle right there. And fall backwards. And you, like I said, you can put one foot on his hip or uh, close guard. Close guard works fine. I like to do it that way. But um, so that's one. Uh, the other one we'll do is we'll go over to the guillotine variation I showed you that one video. Uh, Shinya Aoki uses it. I actually really like it. So instead of going down, I come up like this. And uh, you know, I got a pitch. I'm going to come underneath. And as I'm falling backwards, I'm going to grab my fingers. Close my guard, and I'm going to take this elbow and drive it towards the spine. Now you don't have to move very far, so you're going, coming all the way underneath, grabbing your fingers like this. As you're falling backwards, shift your hips out a little bit, and you're coming across like this, so it's a lot like that. His head would be right here, like that. Um, another one, see how this works, he's got a thick neck. Uh, Another one is uh, if I bring him down, I come up. Um, right away, you see, I open my guard. I keep this foot planted right here. Uh, I'm going to swoop underneath like this. And this foot I have planted, I'm going to push my butt out a little bit. So it sinks the choke a little tighter for this one. So scoop it out, and right away, I'm under. Look, I'm right here. I'm going to come across like this. And pose like this. Uh, again, you don't have to close it. It's tight, I mean, I have them locked. So you can just uh, kick off his hip. That one, you're basically coming under. Uh, my elbow's almost pointing towards the, towards the floor. Um, when you first come through, you're not gonna be able to get all the way through. That's where that extra kick comes out. You scoop your butt out a little bit, and you're coming across like this. And his head would be right here. And you're actually using this to force his head down. And you're using your chest and shoulder muscles to flex it. Um, do one more. Say, uh, this one might not work on him because he's pretty damn big and I got short arms, but we'll uh, say he postures up, I pull him down, I come up like this. Now, say he dives forward, like kind of, he's holding on to here. So uh, he has the arm in. So uh, I'm going to use my foot, scoot out a little bit. As I'm coming underneath, I'm going to shoot all the way through. Yeah, already it's hard to get this through because man, he's big. You're going to grab your uh, bicep, put it on his back. Like this, you can get it like that. I like to, for this one, kick out, kick off his. Uh, thing. This one's actually kind of cool too, because um, as you grab right here, as you grab this, you can actually use this to get the, the uh, head arm choke, the uh, arm trouble, the uh, head arm choke. You just and you walk towards him. It's kind of cool.